You are welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I am Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Saturday, the 17th day of June 2023, and our topic for today is Time and Opportunities. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, our God and our Redeemer, we worship and we bless your name, we exalt you, we say, Lord, you are worthy and you are deserving of all of our praise. We thank you for this privilege to be before you again. Thank you for the grace to be among the living. Thank you for sound health. Thank you for sound mind. Thank you because your grace and your mercy continues to locate us and shower upon us daily. As we go through your word today again, we ask that you would speak to us through it. Let it instruct us. Help us, O Lord, today also with the heart for obedience. Help us to be doers of the same. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Psalms chapter 90 verse 12. Psalms chapter 90 verse 12 reads, Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Psalms chapter 90 verse 12. And our text for today is from the book of Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7 reads, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our come back. Once again, our topic for today is time and opportunities. And in the body of today's devotional, our Father in the Lord says to us that time is quite a difficult concept to define. One very simple way to describe it is that it is a river that constantly flows. It keeps flowing in a certain direction and carries everyone along with it. No matter what you are doing, time keeps flowing on. Therefore, when you don't do what you are supposed to do at the right time, not only would you have wasted a part of your time on earth, but a part of your life also. This is why you cannot afford to be lazy. One of the things you must understand about the river called time is that as it is carrying you on, it is constantly throwing opportunities at you. It carries you through these opportunities from the day you were born until the day you die. As you flow, you go from one place to another and come across one person or another. Each person or place comes as an opportunity. If you don't grab it when you are there, you may miss it forever as the river doesn't flow backwards. When you understand this about time, you will realize that what decides if you will be successful is your ability to identify and make use of opportunities. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11 The river called time has boundaries on both sides and you are usually in the middle. Occasionally, when God really loves you, he brings you in contact with the right person and tells you to follow him or her. If you are wise enough to obey him without questions, then you will arrive at your God-ordained destiny. This is what happened to me when I met my father in the Lord, Pa Akindayomi. I had a PhD in mathematics, which was a great deal back then. My father in the Lord could not even read or write. He could only read the Bible because of a God-given ability. Yet, God said I should submit to and follow him. Eventually, when he was going to be with the Lord, he wrote in his will that I should take over the leadership of the church. My salary at the time was more than the income of the entire church, but I obeyed. That is how the river of time brought me to where I am now. If you want to fulfill your destiny, rely on God to show you the opportunities hidden in the people you meet and places you go 
so that you will arrive at your expected end. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, our topic for today is time and opportunities. And today's topic is one that cuts across the child, the teenager, the adult and even the elderly. The unit of time is life. Oftentimes when you meet someone, you ask, how old are you? You are asking how long they have been around on earth. And in today's study, our Father and the Lord makes us understand that time continues. In his own words, he says that it is a river that constantly flows. No matter what we do, time keeps flowing on. So this corroborates the statement that time waits for no one. Whether you are ready or not, time continues to pass by. Hence, it is expected of us to do the right thing at the right time. Because there's a time for everything as scripture tells us. Now we must also note that the life that we even have is an opportunity in itself. No wonder our memory verse for today from the book of Psalms chapter 90 verse 12 tells us, So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. The New Living Translation says, Teach us to make the most of our time, so that we may grow in wisdom. Maximizing the time and consequently maximizing the life that God has given to us is of great importance. Because our Father and the Lord makes us understand today that wasting a part of your time on earth is one and the same thing as wasting a part of your life also. Now very importantly in today's study, we are made to understand that as we go on in life, time brings opportunities to us. A wise man once said, success occurs when opportunity meets preparation. In other words, opportunities without proper preparation and planning, without maximizing them, would lead to no success. Now, our Father and the Lord also explains to us that these opportunities come to us through two channels. He says as we go from one place to another and come across one person or another, each person or place comes as an opportunity. Many times we just seem to flow along with life. We never really open our eyes or trust God to reveal opportunities present in the places and the people that we encounter. I tell you the truth that one correct contact with the right person at the right time could be a total life changer. And our Father and the Lord tells us the same thing too in today's study about his encounter with our first general overseer, Pa Josiah Akindayomi. Now we must also trust God to be able to discern these opportunities in the places and the people that we meet. Many times they may seem very ordinary, without any form of promise to blossom in the future. Now who would have known, except by the help of the Holy Spirit, that giving up all the opportunities and the ambitions that our Father and the Lord had back then would be so rewarding? In fact, it absolutely did not even look like a wise decision to make. And by physical judgment, you would want to think he had even made a mistake. For someone who had great dreams and ambitions, one time he wanted to be the youngest vice-chancellor in Africa. But he gladly left all of those things when he identified the opportunity that time was bringing him. In our lives as individuals, in our endeavors as we go around every day, opportunities keep coming to us, privileges and chances that we should take advantage of. In our study today, our Father and the Lord explains to us that some of these opportunities come but once. If they are not seized now, you would miss them forever. Now at this point, I'd like us to bow our heads and pray some very important prayers. We would be asking the Lord, we would say, Father, please don't let me ever miss my opportunities in life in Jesus' name. Pray that prayer intentionally and deliberately. Say, Father, please by your mercy today, don't let me ever miss my opportunities in life. Don't let me miss them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We would also be praying, we would say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Help me to maximize my time and my life in Jesus' name. Pray that prayer, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, help me, Lord, to maximize my time. Help me, O Lord, to make the best of this privilege of life. Grant me the grace, O Lord, to number my days in the name of Jesus. We would also be asking the Lord today, we would say, Father, grant me the wisdom and the understanding, the sensitivity to be able to see opportunities in places and in people that you would send across my way in the name of Jesus. 
Ask the Lord today for the eyes that see. Ask Him for hearing ears and understanding minds. Eyes that can see beyond what meets the eye. Eyes that can see your agenda and your plan behind every of our encounters. In the name of Jesus, in our going out, in our coming in, say, Father, open our eyes to see. In the name of Jesus, ask the Lord also today, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, grant us the grace for obedience to follow in every way that you would lead us in Jesus' name. Today we learn that God brings men along our way and that if we are wise enough to obey him without questions, we will arrive at our God-ordained destiny. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, grant me that grace, the wisdom to be able to follow through in every way you are leading me. Help me, Lord, to drop pride aside. Help me, Lord, to drop achievements aside. Help me, Lord, to see beyond today. Help me, Lord, to trust you enough to hold your hands and let you lead and guide me through this journey of life to your own God-ordained destiny and destination for me. Help us, O oh Lord, not to be doubtful. Help us, O oh Lord, not to be so worried about tomorrow that we would miss your intended will for us. Help us, O oh Lord, not to be weighing our options when we should simply follow in obedience. Help us, O oh Lord, to trust you with everything through the process. And in the end, Father, we ask that all glory would be ascribed unto you. Thank you, our Father and our God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Blessed Redeemer, we are grateful for today's word. Words cannot express the gratitude of our hearts. We ask today, O Lord, that you teach us by your grace and your mercy to maximize the time you have given us and the opportunities you'd be bringing our way. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We also have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Psalms chapter number 69 down to chapter 72. Hallelujah. We also want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. You can do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 30 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing, When We Walk With The Lord. As you go for today, may your eyes be open to the opportunities that time brings your way and may you receive the grace to maximize them in Jesus' name. Have a lovely weekend ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. enjoyed today's devotional we'd love to hear from you kindly leave a comment you can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached god bless you have a great day and see you tomorrow